Small business leaders in Hopewell came together tonight to celebrate manufacturing, entrepreneurship and economic growth in the Tri-Cities. 8 News reporter Alexis Bellamy spoke to several small business owners about this event and the strengthening of the future of small businesses. Alexis, what did you learn? Heather, Eric, the first ever Made in Hopewell event kicked off earlier today and it started with a panel of experts discussing a number of topics, including the manufacturing industry in Central Virginia. After that, a trade show portion started, which celebrated the entrepreneurial spirit of the city of Hopewell. Shara Thomas is the owner of Shara Styles and was one of the 18 small business owners representing their hustle and passion at the Made in Hopewell event at Beacon Theater. I've got to uh, talk to other people about exposure. That was a big thing, having exposure and the potential grant funding that I would need for that expansion of business. Shara started her business in 2019 and says she is ready to pour back into her community. I want to be able to expand it into a manufacturing company where I can have my house or well, produce jobs for people in the local Hopewell area because I do know like job, job scarcity is still a thing in some areas. The Made in Hopewell conference and trade show hosted by the Hopewell Downtown Partnership is the first of its kind. But organizers like director Heather Lines say it's long overdue. We're known for being an industrial community and for manufacturing as a city. And that's kind of how like the city came to be and was built. The event ended with a total of $10,000 going to some new and some already established businesses. Woo! And what we're trying to do is bring more awareness to our locally made products and then support those business owners with whatever the next step is in their journey. Line says that the money being poured into these small businesses will not only strengthen them, but the entire city. So it helped me see that there is endless opportunities for me and it helps me become remain optimistic about my future as a business owner. So yeah. Heather, Eric, that $10,000 grant that several of those businesses received today was actually made possible by the Virginia Department of Housing and Community Development. Now, if you want to learn more about some of these businesses that spent their time and energy here today, you can find this story online at WRIC.com. For now, reporting live in the Digital Center tonight, Alexis Bellamy, 8 News.